Hi guys, welcome back to the 12 days of RMUS. My name is Fraser and I'm here to talk to you about something a little new. This is the Nano from Evolve Dynamics. Evolve Dynamics you may be familiar with from the previous product, the Skymantis, which uh, is relatively new for us, but we've had great success with so far. So what is this? It's something quite new and I'm very excited about it. So this is a sub 250 gram aircraft, which has a 35 minute flight time. It's IP54 rated and can fly up to one kilometer away. Wow. Why is it relevant that it's under 250 grams? So as you may know, uh, many places in the world where uh, that distinction is quite relevant because drones under 250 grams have many fewer restrictions on where and how you can fly them. For example, you may not even need to be a certified drone pilot to fly this, depending where you live. So there are some sub 250 gram aircraft, but none quite like this. None that have anywhere near as long a flight time as this. They're not IP rated. They won't fly as quickly as this. And this is really intended for sort of a different purpose. Um, if we look a little closer, we can see there's quite a lot of emphasis on the hardware engineering. This is 3D printed frame. It's exceptionally good. We have this truss structure, which keeps the arms nice and light um, and strong. And they're not, they're a little flexible. So unlike, for example, a really thin carbon plate that you might use in place of this, this is not brittle. It will not break as easily in a crash. There will eventually be swappable payloads for this thing. And we've also opted to use lithium ion batteries instead of LiPos because the energy density is greater and that's how we can get such a long flight time from such a small aircraft. So what is this really for? Is it kind of like a DJI Mini with 35 minute flight time that's IP54 rated and it has an optional thermal payload? Well, clearly it's much more than that. Is it kind of like an indoor tactical drone? Well, it flies indoors, there are prop guards available and it, it performs really well in that scenario. But it's also got GPS, it can return to home and it's got optional swappable payloads. So clearly it's much more than just an indoor tactical drone, although it will perform well in that role. So uh, we think this is something a little new. Uh, for anyone who's got tactical needs uh, or, or they need an aircraft that can be quite covert but operate in different uh, scenarios, this is really the one and we haven't had anything quite like that yet. So excited about this. Uh, for more information on this, we'll be back tomorrow with our webinar. Thanks for tuning in.